guys. How's it going? I'm Scott. I'm Shannon. And we're with Life in Our Lane. Uh, if you're not following our channel already, go ahead and subscribe. We are doing a collaboration with Big Truck, Big RV, um, in order for you to be able to see all of our different RVs, whether it be, you know, something super tiny or something super big, super cheap or super expensive. He's putting together this huge collaboration with a bunch of YouTubers. Um, we're just starting out probably been following him a long time uh if you're not go give him a follow and a subs subscription we just moved to fernley nevada and we are staying in desert rose rv park which has been really great so far we've been here for a few weeks now yeah. uh, the people are great the neighbors have been awesome so far uh the location's great as well it's near a lot of shopping so we can't complain about that yeah we're we're i, I have to drive a half hour to work but it's not a problem because i have mountain views the entire time it's not boring yet, no. um, but our RV is the 2020 Forest River Cedar Creek <laughs> Silverback Edition 37 Mid Bunkhouse, so a MBH. Mouthful. Yeah, it's a mouthful, but I could probably cut out some of that, but I want to get it exact. Uh, we, we tow it, it's a fifth wheel, we tow it with a 2016 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. It's the V8 Duramax 6.6. .6. Um, the UVW of the trailer, the unloaded vehicle weight is 12,679 pounds. The GVWR is 16,135 pounds. Now that's if that's with everything loaded in it, you know, you take 15% of that hitch weight and you've got a, uh, a, a pin weight of 2420, 2, uh, the truck's GCVWR itself is 24,500. Hope you guys enjoy the tour. Let's go check out the outside. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, we're going to take a look at the outside really quick. So if you come over here, we're going to start over here so I don't lose track of anything and forget anything. Here we have our uh, hose hookups. One thing I want to mention is always make sure you have the surge protector. We love ours. We have the clear hose hookups. Um, they help with the, if we have a clog, which knock on wood, we have it right here you know your typical water heater uh, runs on gas and electric there's a little switch down here um, up here we've got our gray tanks black tank hookups hydraulic controls you now we've got a light here we've got this easy reel here which comes in handy when we're uh, moving sites or if we're storing the power cable this is particularly nice. Um, a little hot and cold water action, so you know, we can bathe the dog with some semi-warm water so she doesn't freeze. Also, what we did out here was we put on these uh, these little insect screens to avoid wasps. So this goes all the way through, and then we'll move on to our battery compartment here. Got our battery, our hydraulic controls, our leveling controls there. This is the auto level system, the switch here that you would use when you're setting up your uh, leveling system, you know, the, the auto level. So it makes it simple. I don't have to hand crank anything. It's awesome. If that ever breaks, I'm going to cry. Uh, under here is what we call our garage. It's pretty cool. You know, nice big space for stuff that we don't need all the time. Um, we keep our generator under here, you know, a gas can, our RV washing stuff, a little toolbox. Yeah, it's really nice. All right, so here we have our propane tanks and uh, the selector switch. We have some magnetic sensors on the bottom that connect to an app on our phones called Tank Check. They help us know if uh, they're getting close to empty. They alert us. It's pretty good. Works. This is the other end of the... Uh, see-through storage you can't see through it because it's really dirty but um this is surprisingly organized so here's our power spray port for the outside we've got some extra camping stuff in here a little heater and mainly just leaving it open so we can access our vacuum bag so here we've got our upgraded steps those are uh, a lot nicer than the ones that just hang down these actually have support so that's pretty cool. And over here we have our rug, our fake grass pad, and our garden. So that's our outside. 
All right, guys, welcome inside. We're gonna start over here at our dining table, which we do eat at, but we also work. We actually set up a little table here for Scott's workstation, my laptop, and then we're gonna be homeschooling our oldest here. Uh, the great thing about this is that the table lifts up and there is storage underneath, and this actually extends to give us more room for work. And the chairs actually have some storage under them as well, which is really helpful. We ended up adding an end table over here because we just needed a little bit of extra storage and we didn't have anywhere to put our big ninja foodie because there's not enough cabinet space. But moving on over here, we have typical RV furniture. The cow, This couch has two recliners and actually USB hub. And this couch has a queen size pullout bed, which is awesome when we have company. Um, we actually just added window tint. The windows are great, but it gets a little hot in here. So we decided to tint all the windows and it's definitely helped. The blinds are tearing a little bit. So we might be replacing those in the future. They just kind of fray on the sides. But above the couch, we have more cabinet space for our towels, extra games, some bedding. Moving over to our entertainment center. We just have some of our dishware up here. Our games are set up here and we've got this awesome heater that has a little fireplace in it. All right, moving on into the kitchen, which is my favorite part because we have full-size appliances, which have been awesome when we're cooking in here. Uh, the one thing we did notice is that our backsplash is warping a little bit because of the heat from the stove and oven. So we'll be replacing that soon. Um, the cabinet space is excellent. We've got a lot of room for food and appliances and condiments. Um, but we did need a little bit of extra room. So over on the end of the island here, we decided to plop an extra little uh, pantry cabinet. So that's been great. And if we need extra counter space, we just have little covers that can go over the sink. So it's a great size kitchen for us and it works, so. Okay guys, moving on into the bunk house. There was originally a jackknife sofa in the slider, but we decided we wanted to build bunk beds for the boys so that if one of them wanted to lay down, the other one could still play. And it's been great, they love it. It really opens up the space for them. We also really like the cabinet space that's in here. There's a lot of room for all their toys and all their clothes. The only thing we did change was that in the closet, we added an extra clothing rack because the ones that were in here limited the amount of hangers you could put on them. So we just needed that extra space for the boys. Uh, we also added in a TV. There was just a space there, so we figured we'd mount that for them. And they really enjoy it. We decorated it to their liking and they have a great time in here. All right, on our front door, we decided to add this grate here because of the screen. If we ever want to keep the door open, we don't want the dog escaping. And we actually added an extra lock up here so the little guys can't get out at night when we're sleeping because that was a must. Um, in here is our control panel. Uh, it's a Lippert uh, one control system. So we just go in here, we have our you know, devices in there and that's how we manage our lighting and all that, our tanks. Um, and then coming up this way, we go up into our loft, which is a great hangout spot for the boys. Lots of dinosaurs. <laughs> and then we come over into the bathroom, which is a little tiny, but we make it work because there's some excellent uh, cabinet space above, below the sink and above the toilet. Um, we actually added some command strips above the toilet by the, on the shower stall. And then we actually added this uh, soap dispenser over the sink so that we can have more cap, uh, counter space there. So we make it work. Into the bedroom, which has a lot of really great storage in the closet. The bed actually lifts up and we've got our big dresser here. We actually ended up getting a new mattress because the one that came with the RV was a little thin and flimsy and it was not comfortable for us. So we upgraded there. Um, the washer and dryer hook up in the closet. So those fit nicely and those were a must have for us. And we actually built the platform for that. So that was a great addition in here. The TV was already mounted when we bought it, so that was helpful as well. We decided to hang up our cleaning supplies so that we could save space around the camp and everything, so we hung that. And then behind our door is our broom and swiffer. And then over on the side of the bed, there was a little cubby there. You could put a little end table 
for whatever you need, chargers, and any of that stuff, so. And that's our camper. So very spacious, we love it. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of our home. We really enjoy living here. We've got a lot of great space. Uh, as you can see, we did a few little upgrades. Uh, we definitely needed those bunk beds for the boys because we just didn't want them sleeping in the loft and on the bed. Um, the window tint we definitely needed because we need to keep it cool in here. Um, the computer area for homeschooling and for your work and my work, we just definitely needed a spot for that. Yep. Uh, washer dryer? Yeah. We make a lot of laundry. We got two boys, so. <laughs> and my favorite thing. So, no, the Ninja Foodie is really good. Yeah. Uh, if we didn't have that with us, that would be a nightmare, but that's not really an RV upgrade. Um, and the Furion cameras, I forgot to mention that we bought this RV with Fury on camera mounts. Uh, there's the side marker light mounts, and then there's also a rear camera and a front door camera. And what you can do is you can plug in the monitor in here. I've never done it yet because I just have other ways of uh, locking up the front door and stuff. But there's the the best part is while we're driving, you can. If I, if I really have a bad blind spot, which I haven't had, I didn't really have a need to use it except backing up. But on the cross country trip, backing up with that thing, the camera makes the world a difference. Absolutely. So Absolutely. Um, our regrets Not about different. buying this RV or doing the RV lifestyle? Um, no regrets with the RV itself. We definitely really like this layout and it, it, everything's yeah. been, knock on wood, holding up. It, really well for us for the couple months we've been in here. Uh, I think my only regret is that we haven't done this sooner. Yeah, we should have did it sooner. It's, it's more fun. Yeah, it's, it's a great lifestyle. It's a good experience. <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, at least at least put it in your, you know, book of stuff you did in your life, your bucket list. So. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna, meet, you're gonna meet some great people. You get to spend a lot more time outdoors. We've definitely been outside with the boys a lot more. Yeah. Um, and there's just a lot more freedom. You're not tied down to a house with a bunch of projects. It's just, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think the only thing that I really dislike is and I can't just let the dog off the leash now and go wherever she wants, you know, I got to walk her on a leash, which is fine, but she's nervous and anxious around other dogs. So some campers get kind of scared and I'm like, no, she's just, she's not, her tail's not in between her legs. She's happy. She just barks. Yeah. Yeah. She's a loud dog. So and but speaking of fine. noise, our boys do like to jump around a lot. They like to make a lot of noise in here and yeah. you can hear it from outside. So and I think we worry about the neighbors getting that, upset with them. That is typical on any RV. If you get an RV, I don't care what RV it is, you're gonna hear your neighbors stomping around in their boots when they get home from work. Yeah. You're gonna hear stuff. So uh, try to keep it quiet during quiet hours. But yeah. other than that, you know, it's it's not a house. It's not on a concrete pad. You know, you, you're literally in a hollow trailer, so. Yeah. <laughs> but hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel at Life in Our Lane, um, subscribe to us. We're going to be trying to go the homestead route. Um, that was the beginning of our journey. That was our decision. We wanted to get an RV, find a nice plot of land, and create a homestead for ourselves. So uh, we're going to push on with that, hopefully, once we're debt free. And uh, so subscribe to us. And also, again, subscribe to Big Truck, Big RV.